Uh, here you see the VLF radio in its more or less definite version. I peeled it in a, a metal box here. And I can switch now <coughs> between the tube and the field effect transistor. Here you see all the capacitors to uh, receive the um, total frequency range. I can switch it on uh, by means of this uh, switch. And um, the radio is fed by an accumulator that's here. Yeah, I had already made it in the past. And that's because uh, to divide it from the main supply, <coughs> because the main supply can cause uh, radio di disturbances uh, when you receive uh, these signals. Um, here you see the lowest part of the spectrum. Um, I now switch higher. Still higher, still higher, go on. Uh, the coil peaks better on the higher frequencies. You can see that um, on the screen the signal is stronger. But I can um, put the volume back, so that's no problem. This is the highest part, it's about 10 or 11 kilohertz. So I will be <coughs> very uh, interested when the weather changes and perhaps I can see on the screen the effects of um, changing weather. I presume um, I will see some effects. This is the switch for the triode or the field effect transistor. Now it's on the field effect transistor and now it's on the triode. It's uh, interesting to see that when I receive by the triode I see more signals. Now I switch back to the field effect transistor. This is the field effect transistor. This is the triode tube. Here you see a resonance. So I presume it's a signal, but I don't know that for sure. Field effect transistor now again. Oh, switches off. and the triode. Uh, 